Hey everybody, welcome to the Baseball Card Archives, where I go through my collection with one card per player that I collect. We'll be going through letters E and F, but uh, somebody had messaged me on my Instagram asking me about what Miner's Corner was, so I just wanted to make it clear. Uh, Ralph Kiner had a show called Kiner's Corner, which was after Met Games, and it was one of the greatest baseball shows you'll ever see in your life. This is why it's called Miner's Corner. As a tribute to Ralph Kiner, I wanted to change the music now that YouTube has decided that it will advertise whatever it wants on my page without asking me. Uh, I used to be worried about copyright strikes, but I'm not anymore, so I'm just going to use the original music from Kiner's Corner as a nod of respect to the great Ralph Kiner, great broadcaster, great player, and great baseball man. I hope you guys like the new intro. Let me know what you think. Nineteen seventy seven tops, Dennis Eckersley. Really great looking card from a great set. Dennis Eckersley, of course, Hall of Fame pitcher and broadcaster. I enjoy him very much and just a guy I definitely collect. So, 2007 Bowman, Jim Edmonds on the Cardinals. Jim Edmonds, a really, really great player, had some really fantastic numbers. And I think he'll eventually get into the Hall of Fame, for sure. And 2007 Bowman, really nice design. 1974 Tops, Doc Ellis. Great set. Really nice set. Nice uh, Pirates uniforms then, too. Doc Ellis, of course, uh, who pitched a no-hitter on acid. Cool card. 2010 Tops. Edwin Encarnacion. Really like Edwin Encarnacion. He has some really, really good numbers, too. He is uh, also a potential future Hall of Famer. He's a hired gun at this point. I mean, he's played all over the place, but I really like to watch this guy play. You got to see him bust out of the box and try to leg out a double stretch one out I mean he really really runs hard and he's a big guy so and uh, he's getting on in his career so nineteen ninety eight metal universe Darren Erstad who in two thousand I think had two uh two hundred and forty hits or something crazy like that that's a great looking set too Really nice set. You can pick one up for pretty cheap, and um, they're really super nice. Well, the backgrounds are great, and this the background on this one isn't even that nice compared to some of the other ones. 1985 Drake's Big Hitters. This came out of the Drake's box. Um, the great Dwight Evans, really a fantastic player, had a great career. One of the legendary Red Sox as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'm not a Red Sox fan, but he's he's up there. He got to be up there, you know? Cool cards. I always like these third-party cards. 1975 tops. Figgy, Ed Figueroa, had some great years in the major leagues. This is his rookie card, actually. I have a bunch of his rookie cards, and they're all beat up like this one. But, but I still love the card, love the player. He's an American hero, served uh, in Vietnam, and then came back to have a great career in the major leagues. Figgy, a.k.a. Ed Figueroa, 1975 Tops rookie card with the Angels. 1977 Tops, Raleigh Fingers. Great guy, great mustache, great pitcher. Um... Also a Hall of Famer. And I love those Padres uniforms of the 70s. They just always look really cool. And 
It's a nice looking card. 1983 Opeachy Colton Fisk. Cool card. I know this must have been tough for Red Sox fans to see him in a White Sox jersey. Opeachy's cool. You see the French. Nineteen eighty three tops, Colton Fisk. I really like this card though. It's always uh, been a card that's always stood out to me. And of course, Colton Fisk. Great, great player. One of the greats. One of the best catches of all time. This is the two thousand and twenty Tops Heritage High Numbers. Or was it the high numbers? It was it? Guess so. Can't even read that on that green back. Oh no, maybe not. This is the regular set. Anyway, Jack Flaherty, really, really talented pitcher. Um, not really sure what he's doing this year. You know, I don't do fantasy baseball or any of that stuff. I just look at cards and, you know, I'm more into cards usually than baseball itself, even though, I mean, that's not, that's not true. That's not true. But I definitely spend more time looking at cards and researching cards than I do looking at stats of players that don't play for the Yankees, to be honest. Um, so, but when I have seen this kid pitch and I've looked at his numbers in the past, recent past, it's been really, really good. So, it's another guy keeping a binder. 1982 Donruss, George Foster. This is the best Donruss card I have of that set. And even so, I mean... You can see the bottom is not perfect. It could go down just a little bit more. Um, but look at that. I mean, that is as centered as it gets for that set. I mean, I'm serious. I, I've bought so many of these. I actually had one of these when I was a kid. My uncle bought it for me in like, uh, I guess, 86 or something. He bought one of these for me at a show. And it was just really nice to get Donruss back in the day. Really, really cool. But look at how centered this is. Anyway, George Foster, great player. Uh, had some great years with the Mets. That's really when I remember him. But um, I wanted to show how nice this card was centered. That's why I used it. And I do, I do like the card. He has a great uh, batting stance. So 82 Donruss, the great George Foster. Red Thunder, Clint Frazier. I can't even keep up with what card this is. This is like one of those silver pack cards, I guess. From, uh, I don't know. I can't keep up with all the inserts, folks. It's insane. It's absolutely insane the amount of inserts they put in. 2013 Tops, Freddie Freeman. Player I really love. And he's still having a pretty good year. He's still having a pretty good year. His batting average could go up a bit, but that's everybody in Major League Baseball right now. But great card, great set, and great player, Freddie Freeman. And that will conclude it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will sub back. Hope everybody's well. Be safe out there. God bless America.